Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With Bubbles. Can't forget Bubbles. Would I have a lecture? Probably not. Exactly right. So, what are we doing tonight? Well, play night, Venom Garage. Sounds like a plan. Let's just have fun. So, That's what we're all about, right? Oh, why not? Why not indeed? Alright, I'm going in with this. Look at that gorgeous cup. A cup full of I think, I, I think I've got a lot of colour here. You do got a lot of colour in there. And I don't think I'm going to need all of it. Probably not. It could be interesting if it was. Use it all. You could do it. Well, I'm thinking I might. Okay. I'm going to break all the rules. I'm going to wiggle and jiggle. Yeah. And I'm going to see just what happens. Sounds like a plan. Because... You just want to make a cool little pattern, don't you? I really do. And the colours in this are just magical. I'm seeing beach vibes. Oh, I see. So I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to do a bubbles pour. <laughs> That's what the that's what it is. It's a bubble spool. Okay. Yeah, your rules, you can shove them. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Call you know, it whatever you, know, you like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if it's a ring pour or ring a ring a rosy. Like yeah, I suppose it would be a travelling straight pour or some shit. You know, but I started off like a ringy. And I'm just branched out. I'm just going to do a bubbles pour. Why not? It's not going to have a traditional name. It's going to go, it's me. What do you reckon? Sounds like playing to me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to really branch it out. Oh, what now? Yeah, I am. Because I have more than enough on that ring on the inside. And because earlier I was blooming. Yeah. And they're a little bit shit today. Oh dear. <laughs> so. So you figured you just. Change it up. Change it up and have a play. Yeah. Because okay. I figure, what's the use? Like, if you've already had a hard day, to me, you art your therapy, right? Yeah. It's where you come out just to get in the garage, de-stress, have some friggin' fun. So, my blooms, I don't know what I was doing, but they were not a bubbles bloom at all. You said they were cool. I, I, I thought they were great, but... I was not agreeing with you. So, voila. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the colours in the centre of that. So. I know, right? They're freaking cool. Nuts. I love those blues you made me, all those customs. But I figure sometimes there could be just some reason why your head's not, just not in the right place to do a certain technique. So change the sucker up. Yeah, do something else. <laughs> and that's where I'm at right now. Oh, I see. I'm going to spin this. I'm going to do something different. Okay. Because I figure tonight, let's just have a little bit of an experiment. I like experiments. They're so fun. So do I. It's, you know what, though? I seriously believe that's where you find some of your best cracking ideas. Yeah. Just get out in the garage or studio, whatever you have, and have a play. Because I really believe that's when some of the best ideas have been invented. When you're just mucking around. That's how I come up with all my weird stuff. Yeah! I'll just have a play day where I'll just come in here and just... Let it loose. Yeah, do all sorts of weird and things you usually wouldn't do, different concoctions and... And so usually, because you're not recording, 
Yeah. You don't give a shit what it's going to look like. That's exactly right. It's not on display. It's yeah. just, hey, let's just see what happens if I put this with this, which I think is a really cool place to rock your world. I really should record them because I forget how I did them half the time. I know. That's like last week. You did two absolute crackers and I was like, Please tell me you recorded them, and you went, uh, no. no, Bubbles, I did not. And I was like, well, what the hell is wrong with you? I know. <laughs> I'm abusing you from work through Messenger. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you had a ball. But see, that's the thing, that was your art therapy for the day. Yeah, I just had a play. It was good. I think too many people get caught up trying to do what everyone else is doing. Don't do that. Have your own fun. Just see what happens. Go well, on your own adventure. I like adventure. To me, that's what it's all about, you know. So. What shall we do? I think I'm going to take them up and down. Why not? I like what you did there. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> the things we do. Fun and games. But that's the thing. Don't keep trying to regurgitate everyone else's. Get out there. Have a bit of uniqueness. Have a bit of fun. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? you got to scrape it or just friggin' embellish over the top. Like, I don't see the problem, you know what I mean? Yeah. But find your own... I'm a big believer in finding your own um, style, your own signature, if you put it that way. Yeah. That's like with my embellishments, you know. I started off because I seen um, some of the beautiful works of um, what Nikki D had done with some of her artworks. Yep. And then I thought, well, you know, I don't want mine to look like anyone else's. Yeah, so change them up. So I did something that no one else had done. And I think that's what makes it have its own uniqueness. Yeah. It's like with mine, I draw owls and fish and exactly all right. sorts of so crazy stuff on mine. Yours is different to mine again. Oh, I love the outside of that. That's nuts. What do you reckon? I love it. But was that a floaty pillow or a spun No, right I spun the sucker out. <laughs> Because you're going, you put a lot of colour down there, Bubbles. Yeah. I'm like, yes, I did, and I really need it to be... Yeah, well, don't I? No. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, she's pretty. You know what? That's actually not bad for what the hell am I going to do? You know an easy way to find out whether you're in the centre? I just spin it. Yeah, watch. I'll show you. Right, see how you've got more paint coming off this edge? Yeah, and I do. there's nothing coming off there. So I've got to go back. So you've got to go back a little bit. Probably not that far, but... Oh, come on, what's a mill or two, right? Among friends. <laughs> there you go. How close is that? And then it should come off evenly. If you're in the dead centre, it'll come off even all the way around. You lost your pretty patterns. I know, I lost a lot of them. I thought you might with that thing. I thought I had quite a bit of, um, in that cup. Yeah. But I'm actually digging what these outside The outside edges are. have got the weirdest patterns through them. And I'm really digging them. Without the swipes, so. I think it's actually worked out in my favour that I screwed the pooch. Yeah. Well, that's what experiment night's for. Now you know next time not to put as much in the middle. Absolutely, but I'm sort of glad I did now. That's a trippy. Because look at that. I love it. You can see where the bubbles have popped in the centre. 
yeah. the different colours have come up through it. I put that little tiny bit of um, Jung and Silver in by Eye Candy. Yeah. And I think with the blues, it's just, it's given it that bit of something, hasn't it? Yeah. Man, that looks cool as. I'm digging that. Oh. You know, for a stuffer, that's, yeah. that's a-okay. I can live with that, huh? No doubt. I mean, I would have liked some of my pastel swipes. <laughs> they were pretty darn cool. I would have liked to have seen how they opened up, but, you know, that was 10 minutes ago, so let's not worry about that. No, well, you can always do it on a bigger piece. And that's been the Bubbles learning experience where I actually like them out as better. Yeah. <laughs> so winning. And that just shows you guys, sometimes when you think you've stuffed up, keep going. Yeah. You end up with something totally different to what you started with, but it can still be cool at the same time. Exactly right. And it may not be what you wanted, but hey, tell me that doesn't look freaking cool, oh, right? Oh, no, that's mad. So we'll do a close-up reel of that because I think there's I think some really cool effects going on through there. Yeah, it's nuts. I love this paisley look. I like it. Around the outside. I think that's pretty darn cool. I really like that. That's so cool. That silver really pops, doesn't it? It did the trick, didn't it? Because, see, you've got to be careful, I reckon. Sometimes when you're doing a pour, and, like, I love using blues, but yeah. some shades of blue can look very similar. Yeah. So you don't get your fantastic lines that you really want in your pour. Yeah. Where if you put something like a silver or a white or even this gold yellow, a uh, green yellow. Yeah, green yellow. In between. It just breaks it up so you really get them bold lines, which, damn, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> Happy dance. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All righty, so we got to pause there and come back to you, Guru. We shall. And we are back. Yes. What have you got for us, Mr. Wombat? I have a cup full of fun. Oh, you're doing a cup too. Yeah, I figured, you know, well, you did one, I may as well do one. I started a trend, didn't I? You did. Now I'm using all bloom consistency paints here, so it's really thick. Like uber thick. Okay. See? Where are you taking this? Oh, I love this. Wombat paw. That's like ribbons. Yeah. I'm really digging that. All different coloured ribbons coming out of it. So you can get away with that because it's bloom consistency. It's all really thick colours. Yeah. So your colours will actually... They're holding form, aren't they? Yeah, it'll ribbon up. I love how you're getting the pink on the inside, the purple on the outer. That's really cool. Yeah, you can add just little... Wispy bits around the outside? Yeah, just whatever's leaking out of the cup. Just take it for a walk. Might make it, might not. Doesn't really matter. No. Because it's going to spin out a bit. Yeah, it is. Like that. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew you were getting the skewer into that. No, you do. I've got that forethought with you. But I don't know what you're doing with the rest. You've got me a bit bamboozled. Right. Now, hopefully, 
and pull this bit off. <laughs> Is this one of the moments when you go and I hope this works, I hope this works. Yeah, I haven't had a practice <laughs> run at it. This is just... No, we just went in the deep end. Let's experiment. Yeah, making it up out the top of my head as I go. I spy a radio, people. Yeah. Top ID. So I love how you can spin that way with the radial, because I can't. I have tried and tried, I just cannot do it. I've got to go the other direction. Isn't that funny though? Everyone finds their one little niche. Yeah. The way you've got to do things, because I've really tried to go the opposite direction the way you go. Yeah, you have. <laughs> Doesn't work so good for me. <laughs> so rotate it the other way. No B. No. You find out what works best for you and go with it. And that's the thing. You just, you really do, don't you? Find yeah. your own thing. It works. Go with it. That is awesome. Just something a little different. I don't know how, how much paint I put down, so I don't know whether it's going to spin right out to nothing or who knows we're going for the ride let's see so it's called play night absolutely oh that looks love it look at that fun that is fun You had a spun out pillow too, didn't you? Yeah, it wasn't totally spun right out. Enough so there will be movement. a little bit of movement. Yep. Just enough for it to go over the edge. <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> it's fun. I like it. It should just run over the edge. Oh, that's a cool way of doing a flower. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, pop that one up. It's good enough to eat. <laughs> it does look like a cake. Yeah, it's like a cake or a lollipop or something like that. Yeah. Even the cricket agreed. The cricket did agree. Let's torch that one. Make sure it's got all the bubbles out of it. That's fun. That is bright and wonderful. I like it. Just something different. Something Absolutely. for a bit of fun. Love it. I love that paisley look. It's so cool. All right, we'll do a flyover of that. Let you have a closer look at it. That's so fun. So you can do whatever you choose. You just use your bloom consistency paints to do whatever you want as well as... Have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. You don't have to use them for just blooms and swipes. No, multi-use. Yeah. Try them for other stuff. The, pick, the thicker paint makes you keep these solid colors yeah absolutely rather than it all mudding in together and blending yeah that's super cool trippy as absolutely all righty that is it from us this week it is another week done and dusted till yes. next week so if you like that hit like share and subscribe bring the notification bell Thanks, Singer Girl. You know the gist. Absolutely. To be honest, I'd rather you watch another video. Damn straight. Yeah, why not? There's heaps on there. All right, guys. Have fun. Take care. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.